history and after a shock defeat by the Brisbane Bears on Saturday. Eddie Maguire, who broke news of wall sacking exclusively on 10 News this afternoon, is now at uh, Princess Park. Eddie, what's the feeling like down there tonight? Well, David, as you said, shock is the only word really to describe it. Uh, not only Robert Walls' is sacking, but the reappointment of one of Carlton's favourite sons, Alex Jezelenko. Players were stunned when they arrived here tonight. Some of them didn't even know about it when they arrived at training here at Princes Park, while some supporters were pretty disappointed at the way that Robert Walls had been treated. Robert Walls himself, well, he didn't have too much to say today. When I spoke to him this morning, he said he was disappointed, and he also said that... Uh, he was sorry that his association with the club had ended so quickly. He wished the players all the best for 1989, but said that life would go on. It was not the end of the world. Of course, uh, Alex Jezelenko, just behind me, is talking to the rest of the media. It's created quite a, quite a controversy down here, but Alex had the players straight out on, on the track tonight. After 10 years away from Carlton, the cry of Jezza will once again be heard at Prince's Park. The great man was back and literally was welcomed with open arms. Jezelenko's appointment comes after the club sacked Robert Walls this morning. The Blues have lost eight of their ten matches, their worst effort in their history. Something had to go. And in typical Carlton tradition, it was Walls. I think there's a, a combination of a lot of factors and uh, you can't just isolate any one. But uh, you know, I suppose in football that's uh, probably the first area that you do look at. The last time Jezelenko coached the Blues, they won the 79 Premiership. Ironically, he took over the Blues after five rounds of the 78 season and led them to the finals after a similarly disastrous start. For Jezza today, he was glad to be back. Oh yes, oh yes. I've always said that my ashes will be buried at the, in the gold square for the Carlton Footy Club. Hopefully not this season, Alex. Well, I hope not this year, no. But um, as I said, this is home and I'm glad to be back. And back he is and we'll have more on the Carlton crisis and the new coach later on in doing the rounds in sport for the moment. Back to the studio. Which led them to a premiership just two seasons ago. More from Tony Jones. News quickly spread of Jezelinko's homecoming. In fact, it was only hours after Carlton's shock loss to the Brisbane Bears that the first approach was made. Saturday night, I got a call from Carlton. And then Sunday, there was more development. And today I'm here. As the players began arriving for training, it was obvious they too were stunned by the day's events. And skipper Stephen Kernahan has mixed feelings as to whether the right decision has been made. Well, you know, I'm disappointed. Rob's been a great coach, a um, uh, fine coach over the years, coaches to a premiership, and uh, you know, it's disappointing to, you know, to see, see it happen in those circumstances. Robert Walls is keeping well away from the media, but in a brief statement said he was shocked by the decision and was confident of improving the club's performance by sticking together. He then said for him, it's not the end of the world. For Jezelinko, though, it's the start of a huge challenge trying to lift the Blues from the bottom end of the ladder. But some of the supporters may need a little more convincing. Jezelinko arrived at Princes Park in 1968 and went on to become one of the most talented players in the game's history. Jezza played in five of Carlton's premiership teams and was captain coach of the winning side in 1979. But then Jezza made a fatal mistake siding with George Harris in a bid to topple the regime led by Turak businessman Ian Rice. Harris lost and Jezza was sent packing with Peter Jones taking over as coach for the remainder of the season. Jezza then went to St Kilda without much success before taking on a Brisbane district club. Today Robert Walls must be wondering why he ever left the security of the classroom to take on full-time coaching. He had some success with Fitzroy but as a former Carlton great the recall to Princes Park was the culmination of a football dream. In 1987, he led the club to a record-breaking 14th Premiership over Hawthorne. From then on, it's all been downhill. In another shock move today, former Premiership skipper Mike Fitzpatrick has replaced Wes Lofts as chairman of selectors. Jezelinko's first test comes on Friday night when Carlton meets the Swans in Sydney. At this stage, he's only back until the end of the season, and barring any miracles by Jezza, the Blues could be looking for another coach next year. Tony Jones, National 9 News. While the chairman of selectors, Wes Lofts, has stepped aside for Mike Fitzpatrick. How are you? Robert, how are you? Hey, Good to see you. When Alex Jezelenko arrived at Prince's Park this afternoon, it virtually ended 10 years in exile for the former champion. He was a victim of a political battle and left Carlton to coach St Kilda. Today, all was forgiven. I'll just sit down and evaluate everything here. And let's see how it goes. You're not out of touch, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I've been watching them on the, on the uh, television. SAC coach Robert Walls declined to be interviewed but said, the decision to depose me was a shock, but it's not the end of the world. Moves to Axe Walls started after Saturday's three-point loss to the Brisbane Bears. 
When the decision was made, Wes Loss decided to stand down as chairman of selectors after 15 years, but will remain on the board. The coup was so swift, it even surprised many of the players, but captain Steve Kernahan paid tribute to Walls. Well, you know, I'm disappointed. Rob's been a great coach, and a uh, fine coach over the years, coaches to a premiership, and uh, you know, it's disappointing to, you know, to see, see it happen in those circumstances. Well, that's your new coach standing down there, Alex Jezelenko. How All do you right. feel about uh, Jez's appointment? Oh, well, look, I haven't had time to digest it, Rob. You know, I just, I've just got the train in so. The 43-year-old Jezelenko tonight sets out to emulate his success of the late 70s when he took over from Ian Stewart as coach after five matches in 1978 and won the premiership the following year. Rob Asprey, Seven Nightly News. Jezelenko is the new coach of Carlton. Despite never finishing lower than third in his three years at the club, Robert Walls was axed by the Blues after coaching Carlton to just two wins from ten games this season. Eddie Maguire is at Carlton, and Eddie, it really is a fairy tale story. It is, Bruce, with the Blues hoping that Alex Jezelenko, one of their favourite sons, can repeat what he did in 1978 and 79 and bring the club back up the ladder. Robert Walls, however, could understandably be quite aggrieved because, uh, you know, he hasn't really been supported during the early part of this year, and, uh, you know, he could obviously think that uh, during the good times and the bad times that the club should stand by him, but on this occasion they've decided to go for Jezza. So hopefully for the Blues, Jez is going to try and repeat the magic of 1978 and 79. It's not the first time that Jezza has taken over a club mid-season. In fact, he's done it twice before. The first time in 1978, taking over from Ian Stewart. The second time after round three in 1980 at St Kilda, when he replaced Mike Patterson. But it was at Carlton that the name Jezza became part of Melbourne folklore. As a player, there has been few better. He played 282 games, kicked 444 goals, including 118 in 1970, and played in four premierships. In 42 contests as coach of the Blues, Jezza was successful 35 times. But it all finished after that memorable 79 grand final where Jezza had to hobble onto the MCG to accept the cup after injuring his ankle. In fighting at the club saw Jezza align himself with the then president, George Harris. At a memorable meeting, Harris was voted out of the presidency and Jezza, true to his word, went with him. The move rocked and divided the club. But even then, chairman of selectors, Wes Lofts, realised the club needed Jezza. He has a great performance on the board and he is certainly well loved by everybody close to Carlton. Every effort has been made and will be made to get Alex Jezelenko back as the coach of Carlton. Walls, who gave up teaching this year to devote all his energies to coaching, had an equally distinguished career, playing 260 games for 243 goals at Carlton and later Fitzroy. He played in three premierships but gained a reputation as a coach as a master tactician. At Fitzroy, he coached for five years till 1985, making the five three times. At Carlton, the Blues were runners-up in his first year, then won the flag in 1987, defeating Hawthorne. Last year, after a bad run with injuries, Walls coached the Blues to third position. Well, Alex Jezelenko is with me. Alex, uh, it's been a big day for you. It certainly has, Eddie. It certainly has. It's been a long couple of days, yes. Well, why take it on? Well, I think it's, uh, it's just in, in my blood, um, and this is sort of back home, and I'm glad to be back. I also uh, have been following the Blues uh, trial this last <laughs> this uh, last ten games, and uh, it's just not uh, not right where they are. So uh, the committee asked me to uh, see what we can do. Um, I'm not too pleased to be back. Well, you had the boys out on the track tonight. Uh, obviously, you can't tell straight away what the problem is, but uh, from what you've seen, what do you think is the problem down here? Well, they seem to be uh, nearly there, but not not winning. Um, that might be a, a lot of things. I'm just going to sit back with the, um, the committee and go over uh, what's happened, just to get a feel, to get back, and I will, I will find out as, uh, as the weeks go on and what they're doing wrong on the football field. Well, Alex, you've been living in Canberra. Will you still commute in the meantime? Or? No, I'll, I will come back down. Um, I'm going back tomorrow to uh, sort uh, my other coaching duties off up there so that they're cut cleanly there and done the right thing by uh, the club up there. And then I'll be back here full-time on Wednesday. Good on you, Alex. Well, good luck on Friday against the Sydney Swans. It uh, should be a big game against another Carlton man, Colin Kinnear, but all the best on the, the second time down here at Carlton. Thank you, Vic. Well, uh, Bruce, it's been a very big day down here at Princes Park. Uh, Alex Jezelenko, the new coach, Robert Wall sacked. Also, Mike Fitzpatrick takes over from Wes Lofts as the chairman of selectors. That's it for tonight. Back to you in the studio. Eddie Maguire, who... Mike Ball.